Hello. Today I'm going to be testing the new Callaway Epic driver. The claim from Callaway is that two titanium bars mounted directly behind the club face are going to stop the club from disforming an impact and therefore give the golf ball more speed. This is caused because there's less loss of energy in the transfer when it impacts on the club face. Now obviously I could stand here and hit drives all day but I think that would be a little bit subjective. My swing isn't the same every time. And that's the reason why we're going to use this guy. Robbie is my personal robot. He comes from Japan. He's a little temperamental, but he does hit a good golf ball. I'm assisted by Trapman. Trapman's going to tell us exactly what the ball speed's doing. And then I want to compare the ball speed with the Epic driver with a ball speed from the Fusion driver because they're a very similar build, they just don't have the same jailbreak technology in them and see if there's definitely a change in the ball speed. So the first job is basically to make sure we're hitting the ball out of the centre of the golf club with the right club head speed. We're working on 90 miles an hour and uh, as you can see I just use a, a face tape um, you can see there the impact mark of the golf ball in the center of the golf club. I can change this with the lie board up or down. Uh, that way I don't have to change the robo. Um, our ball speed is 134 miles an hour, which uh, translates around about 49% smash. Unfortunately, the Trapman has a bit of trouble with carbon-headed drivers actually tracking their club head speed, but you'll have to take it from me that the club head speed is 90 miles an hour. So we've got around about not 44%, but 49%, 49.5% of smash on that ball. Uh, the spin is around about uh, 2.8. Um, launch angle 11.5. Uh, we're actually hitting the ball one degree in the up on the robo, so that translates pretty good with a 10.5 degree driver. And we've got a total carry of 215, 216 meters. So really, these are excellent, ex excellent numbers. In order to test whether the jailbreak technology is actually working, we need to use the same shaft and a similar head. This is also a Callaway head from the normal Fusion driver. The normal Fusion driver, because of its shaping, will have a little bit more MOI, so the moment of inertia, the amount of twisting in the club might be reduced slightly, but it doesn't have the jailbreak technology. Therefore, we would expect this to have a little bit lower ball speed than the Epic. Let's see what the ball speed looks like. Thirty-three point four. So that's also a very good ball speed, about a mile an hour less than we were getting with the Epic. Um, the vertical launch is virtually the same. It's a little less spin on the Fusion than there was on the Epic. Again, the smash factor is a little bit of a variant because of the uh, club speed that the Trapman is measuring. Uh, it would round about 48%, not 43 in this particular picture. Um, again, very consistent. We've hit lots of balls. Um, I'm only showing you three of them will be here all day otherwise. So, I wasn't really sure what to expect from the Epic driver but I think that's pretty conclusive evidence that you're going to get more ball speed. Whether this one and a half, two miles an hour of extra ball speed will actually cause you to hit the golf ball further will be more dependent on the fit of the club. You've still got to get the right loft, you've still got to get the right shaft flex, you've still got to get the right grip. But I think most certainly if you are thinking of changing your driver, the Epic's definitely worth trying. 